Hey everyone, this time I have Toby IX um, eye tracker in here. This is really interesting thing actually. I haven't heard much of it. I actually heard it uh, from a friend, Xerox. Hi. <laughs> and um, thank you Toby for sending me one for a review. So let's let's try to check it out then. Box looks pretty nice. Black. Uh, how do you open this thing? Does it open from this side? This side. Uh, okay, that's that's a little bit embarrassing. Uh, looks like okay. I think it slides out like this. No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, it does. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that's just an outer skin, actually. <laughs> it was sliding both ways. GG. Okay, whatever. Uh, then we have a sticky sticker in here. Well, obviously, a sticker is sticky. I don't think you can see through my hand, but you can at least see through the sticker. Doesn't matter, <laughs> right? Uh, get off my review table, okay? And also this material, I can't really. S Wait, what? That is rubber. That Toby, that's rubber. That is amazing. Uh, was I, I was saying this box? It feels like silk. It's like really nice material. Okay, getting weird now, but really it is. Uh, top part, it's it's like silk something silkish I don't know it feels like really smooth and nice and that's the um, eye controller itself so uh, ta -da. let's take it take <coughs> it out god damn it remove before use of course you have to remove it well obviously put it on there because some people think that um, it's just some I don't know whatever <laughs> okay uh, it doesn't have any wires attached, so you can attach the USB, USB, normal USB 2, I think, I believe. Looks pretty badass, to be honest. Box is very nicely done, very protected. Uh, what else do we have in here? Uh, that must be the cables, yes. Really nicely done. Good job on the box, by the way. Don't need any tools to unbox this thing unlike some products where you have to just like rip it apart look and all these mini grip bags that's that's very nice wait is that what i think it is this thing is that the screen wipe it is <laughs> that's that's nice i actually need that one i mean seriously my screen is completely messed up and i have no screen wipes left so it is a screen wipe, isn't it? <laughs> Cleaning wipe. I don't know if I believe it is. It's actually for this one, I believe. But but I needed it for my monitor, and I'm going to use it. So uh, we have installation guide. Da da da! It shows you how to mount this thing. Da uh, da. Yeah, right. Uh, that's gonna probably be easy. That is a massive USB wire. It is USB free, by the way. So um, I believe if you connect it through USB two, it might be lagging. And also, USB free should be blue in the middle. That uh, indicates that it's USB free. If you didn't know that, okay, there are some exceptions, but it usually should be. And that is what is that? That's metal. That is metal swords you know <laughs> okay uh, that's a sticky part I believe yes that is that is sticky sticky but how do you connect it from the other side is it magnet oh it's magnet okay that's awesome so uh, what you do is pretty easy you take the sticker off you stick this on your monitor and then you simply stick this thing on top and that's it you have an iX controller and in case you're confused this is not some head controller head motion thing it tracks your eye movement on the monitor so it doesn't matter if you turn your head it tracks your eyes so let's get all this um, stuff out of the way I'm not gonna show you the mounting because as I showed you it's very easy all you do is just mount this this thing this thing on your monitor like I showed and then uh, magnets on the back of this they will uh, grip onto it so that's that's all there is 
And if you have some old dinosaur monitor that is made out of metal, then you can just stick it on there. Like, whatever. But anyway, I'm going to give it a go and uh, also forgot to show one thing. Uh, this thing in here. Start here, so this is where you can get the software from. I already downloaded it, so the next... Uh, next scene you're gonna see is on my PC and I'm going to show you the software and I'm going to test it out in some of the games and see how it works out so I'll see you in a second all right so I uh, installed the software like I uh, showed you from the website actually I didn't this is the software that comes from the website but um, you don't really want to install this if you want to use it for the games uh, I wasn't exactly aware of this, but they have a steel series, which is like uh, for gaming, and the iX is more like for uh, developers, it's like a developer kit. It's basically the same product, uh, as far as I know, it has a different firmware version, but they are pretty much the same things. However, the steel series engine 3, the latest version, uh, doesn't work with the iX, at least I was told so, but. Um, I haven't tried it out, I just uh, installed the older version, like it was said that this will work, so. Uh, the first one, this is the eye tracker, I already set this up, uh, test eye tracking, I can show you. Uh, see, this is where I'm looking at, so, I'm looking on the right circle, I don't know, it's a little bit like, off, actually it's not, actually it is. I'm trying to look at the circles right now. Uh, also the problem is that I have a 28 inch monitor and it's a little bit too big for it. Uh, so, it will probably be best to use 27, 26 inch monitor, but it works, it, uh, it works. Right, uh, IX interaction, so what we can do is, uh, you have two keys. Uh, you can change these, if you put multi-key and you have a single key, then you have only IX button, which is right control. I prefer multi-key. So if I press, for example, the multi-key is the application key, which is uh, left side of my right control. Not all the keyboards have that, but mine does. So I look on uh, my gear icon, I'll show you the mouse. I'll look in there and then I'll press the application button. Okay, it didn't zoom in. There we go. Uh, that's how it zooms in. And then if you look on something, for example, I look uh, on this one. And then click again. Then it clicks there and that's it. For example, um, let's go to my YouTube. Uh, for example, I'm going to look on the, on this video in here. And then I'm going to click the application uh, button again. So, And then I look on that and click again. Then I look on the... Uh, pause button, that's it. So you can pretty much use it as a mouse, just one key you need. It will probably work amazingly well. Uh, let's try that and look up in there. Uh, that was a little bit off, but uh, let's see, that's, that's a little bit. Yeah, that's. Ow, I just clicked on something, I don't know. Firewall. Why? why no, I don't want to upload. Why would I want to upload something? Uh, let's try again. Uh, click in there. There we go. Didn't even see it. Uh, another cool function is if you press uh, Alt and Tab, then I can switch between these. That's the overlay, as you can see. It's actually invisible window. See how it uh, looks like that one. But this shows you where I'm looking at. So if I'm looking like um, any of these things, then I can just select it without actually pressing Tab, as you can see. I can just uh, look around and select whatever I want. Uh, that overlay is invisible so you can't see it. This is what you see in the games. I'll show you again uh, where to go. There it is. Uh, so that overlay is in here. This one. So if I click in here. Oops. I click on that one. Uh, this is how it's going to look like. Like you can see in here. Where you're looking at. I will have some videos. Actually I already did it before I actually did this one. Um, unfortunately you need an OBS. Um... Uh, software for that it doesn't really work with other sc screen capture tools but that's okay 
Uh, you can have mouse warp, which is pretty good. For example, um, I'll put it in two seconds. So if your uh, mouse is uh, inactive for two seconds, uh, it's three seconds. Uh, watch my mouse jump from this point to this point. Now uh, check this out. See, and back. So basically, if your mouse is idle for like three seconds, and then you look on that dead star, and then you move the mouse. Uh, it didn't work this time. I don't know why. It, it does, doesn't detect all with my eyes. I don't know why. Probably too close to the monitor, so uh, there we go. So that's what the most most warp is. If you look on the place, and then you quickly want the mouse in the other place, then you don't have to move it. So uh, mouse, I haven't tried this one. Okay, actually this one does work. So uh, that's actually pretty useful. So if I look in there, then I have like a second mouse, as you can see. One mouse is here, then I'm looking on that Ellie's head and click this key and then I have a mouse, second mouse as you can see, the one, one is in here, that's a ghost, the old one, as long as I hold the control down, the second mouse works, so you have this kind of option here. Uh, quick menus, that's the app switcher that I already showed you, which is absolutely amazing, absolutely like this thing. Attention, this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's set this on like let's say two seconds. Let's see. I'm gonna close my eyes one two I know you should be able to see it. No, it didn't. Uh, I'll just close again It's not two seconds There we go And I'll open my eyes. There we go. I actually cheated. I was speaking between my fingers, but okay uh, I Actually like this feature is good, but I leave it on five seconds. So Right, this is pretty much all there is on this one, so I'll, I can probably close it. Uh, this shows, this icon at the bottom shows that it works. Uh, you don't want to update it because as I was told it doesn't work with the latest version, this steel series, this is for the gaming device which is pretty much the same thing, but yeah. And last but not least I'm showing you the CSGO video I just made. You will see it later anyway. See, this is how you can see it on the game window. This is where I'm looking at. Which is pretty awesome, actually, I have to say. This is recorded with OBS, like I said. But I think I'm too close to the monitor. It doesn't always detect uh, the movement, see, in the corners. I was looking at the minimap, actually, but then it felt like it just went off, see. Might have to sit a little bit further away from the monitor, but other than that, it's it's pretty awesome. So that's just a quick preview of the things. And I will show you how to set all this thing up in the, one of the next videos, because it wasn't really easy. I had to... I had some small headaches with it, but it works, so... But I think I showed everything uh, there is to show right now, so... Stay tuned and wait for some of the gaming videos. There was supposed to be an awesome uh, mod for GTA 5 where you can use this thing. Probably aim with it, so I'm gonna test that out too. So stay tuned and see you next time.